All right, guys. Today we are going to be doing the uh, recoil on a uh, Tecumseh Eager One, four and a half horse uh, motor. This comes on a Craftsman lawnmower. Um, any of the parts you need, I'll put in the description below. Just click on the link. I'll see if I can find. I think I can get whole brand new recoils online for cheap. You know that you can just unbolt that, bolt the new one down. I'll put that in the link description. Uh, the rope, the handle, anything you need, I'll put in the link description below. Alright, let's get started. Alright, so uh, first thing we're going to do, there's three quarter inch bolts. There's one there, one there, and oh no, there's two. There's two quarter inch bolts, one there and there. We're going to pop them off. wrench for this one um, actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these three eight millimeters off because I just can't get to that quarter inch so I'm gonna take these three eight millimeters off and just move this gas tank you know out of the way enough for me to get into there You're also going to have to take the oil dipstick out. And you don't want to move it too far. You don't want to disconnect the gas tank from the carburetor. We're just going to get it moved out of the way a little bit. Hopefully. I got to do the carb and everything on this thing anyways. But this video is just this uh, recoil. So i this guy off here. nice and full of dark never been changed oil there we go just bring it forward the line just laid down in there nicely no problem now we can get to that last quarter inch uh, and those probably aren't eight millimeters to come so those are probably actually five sixteenths I used an eight though they're close enough to the same size lifts right off no problem let me get you set back up. Actually, you know what? I'll just do it right here. All right, so the first thing we gotta do is get the old uh, rope out. Oh, and that broke off way down bottom, so that was very easy. Uh, a lot of times you'll have to, you know, fight and bend, you know, in here. What I like, you know, to get it out. Um, what I do is I just go ahead and bend this metal flap that's right here up and out of the way. Um, you'll need to bend it out of the way anyways. A little bit just to be able to wind the rope you know nothing major just just a little bit if you have to you can break that thing right off if you got to um, I, I don't even like it being there myself so all right so I just bend it up a little bit to get it out of the way let me get the rope and stuff so I'm using a number five right now usually I use a number four and a half um, seems to fit in there a little bit better Five's a little bit big, you don't get as much rope in, but it's all I have right now. Um, I'll put it, the rope I put in the description for you will come with a handle and everything through Briggs and Stratton. I know this is Kumsa, but it'll come through Briggs and Stratton. Um, they have a little kit that's cheap, and it works great. Um, we're gonna take the end of the rope, we're gonna light it, and we're just gonna heat it up. We don't wanna get too hot, just where it starts bubbling a little bit, and we can, uh, you know, harden it up so it doesn't fray that's all we're doing it's hardening it up so it doesn't fray when you put it through now we got the uh, little hole right here we got to line that up with this hole right here and then we got to work our rope through it now if it doesn't want to go in you may need to take and just bend a hook in the rope like so now it's slightly bent where you can just look around and 
You need to line it up a little more easily. It is not going to be easy, just so you know. It is only going to be a pain in the butt. I think I'm on it. I think it just might be a little too big. So, uh, hold on one second. So what happens is sometimes the, the end of the rope just becomes a, a knot or, you know, lump. And that's what's happened to this. So I'm going to cut this again. I'm going to cut it in an angle. So it's at a point. So that way when I melt it, it doesn't mushroom out. Comes pointier. And then that hook again. And we'll try again. Fighting me today. It's trying to get through. It's trying. Come on, a little bit more. There we go, a little bit more. There it goes. See, I'm twisting it kind of back and forth. To make it fit in there and once you get the tip in there you just kind of twist it back and forth and it'll roll right up in there now this is just going to be a simple knot these are a pain in the butt you without experience you will probably be here for a little while trying to get that rope through and you'll be cussing it out it is what it is i've cussed a few of mine out i promise you all right so now we've got that we're going to grab this rope. I'm actually going to get a pick. It'll be easier. Hold on. Let me get a pick. It's just easier with a pick. We're going to reach in. We're going to grab the rope. And we're going to pull it out. So you've got this side goes to the outside. This side goes into the knot, right? So the side that goes into the knot is the side we're going to rotate around. And we're going to go counterclockwise few times there's one and it's going to be a pain in the butt getting by that corner there but I'm getting by the rope but there's one there's two three let me see if I can get it one more time it's starting to knot up on me actually I'm just going to do it three times there so I just pulled all the rope out and it'll come in Oh, it's wrapped up around this deck. All right, I'll come in just like so. Um, and we want to do a few more wraps. We'll pull it back out again and do like two more. You know, four or five wraps should be enough. That's five wraps. Yeah, should only done four. So there's that. Now, just let me get this. All right. So this has a spot for the handle to go through. So you need, you know, enough length off this recoil rope to go up here. So we just kind of set that on top of the lawnmower, and we don't want it too loose. So we're gonna go about three quarters of the way up and that's where we wanna cut it. And we'll do it at an angle again, just because we gotta feed it through the handle. So we're gonna melt this end again. Point. OK, 
kind of bumped out, but we'll probably be all right. We'll see how it goes. Then I got the old handle back here. Hold on, let me get it for you. We're gonna go ahead, cut this rope off of this old handle. Reach in here, grab the rope out of it. I'm gonna feed the new handle, rope through the new handle. This is a bit thicker than the last stuff. Go tie a simple knot. So just want to make sure those knots are pulled really tight. You can heat them up with the lighter after you've tied them and pulled them tight, and that helps hold them in place as well. All right, and we're going to take hold this guy back up. Started in there. I like holding the extension like a screwdriver. I hope get it started. Oh, wait a minute. Messed up. See? Even I can mess up. My employees know that. They'll never let it go. Alright, we gotta push that metal flat back in. So I'm just gonna push it right on down. So she's uh Back where she was. There we go. Boom. Just like that. Alright. Now let's pretend like that never happened and continue on. second guys okay I'm back right. I'm just tighten these down they see these slots you guys tank lifted up off of them so to get that back in we got to bring it back up over and slide right down on that and we're going to do the eight millimeter oh throwing stuff around now eight millimeter just get them all started with the extension and socket Again, they do make they do make aftermarket recoils for these. I'll find them for you. Put in the description. Easy to bolt on a new one. Much easier than wrapping a rope. <laughs> and they aren't that expensive. But if you're on a budget, it's five bucks you can get a rope handle and everything. Do it yourself. Well, that's back on. And then, where the heck did I just put my employee? Hold on a second. Found my employee. Dipstick. He's not here today, so I'm talking shit. There we go. Alright, and then the handle. Oh, this guy. Handle's gonna go up here. Let me 
Let me get uh, my uh, phone holder off of here. Squeeze the handle down. Get it up here. I'm just gonna go down, down it, or around that hook, back up and through. Bam! There's that right there. And we got. There it is. Um. Yeah. Not bad at all. All right, guys. This helped you out in any way, shape, or form. Give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, again, I'll put all the parts in the description below. If you want to do any advertising through my channel, message me. I'll be more than happy to help you. More than happy to have you. Peace.